November is Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month, a time to draw attention to Alzheimer's and dementia and the profound impact that diseases have on patients, their caregivers, and the families. These numbers of those affected will only continue to grow. Holland Home trying to change the culture of dementia care. Lois Thomas is a nurse and dementia specialist here to share more. Lois, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Let's start with the basics. Talk about the differences or the similarities, too, of dementia and Alzheimer's. Yeah, that's a pretty common question that we get asked. And so we like to think of dementia as this umbrella term. It's a collection of symptoms. And Alzheimer's is one type of dementia. So it's the most prevalent type, about 60 to 85% of the um, diagnosed dementia is Alzheimer's and then vascular and Lewy body are kind of a close second and third there's others okay. as well okay. or so. actually there's up to 120 different types Wow okay yeah. interesting so, so talk to us about you know Holland home and the dementia care services there and and what sets you apart yep so this year Holland Home has started a Dementia Institute and we are focusing on not only providing care for our folks that live at Holland Home that are so dear to us, but we also want to be able to support the community. So we're offering um, classes, so education both in home and outside the home um, to the community. We have um, received national designation through Tipa Snow's positive approach to care. So we have um, all of our memory care units have been designated through her as well as our Breton Rehab Facility. So we do a lot of extensive interactive training in-house and we're wanting to offer that with the community as well. So we're focusing on education, care, and research. Love that. I mean, and talk to us about the impact, you know, on a caregiver, on people who are who are, are caring for these patients every single day, and how valuable training, support, knowledge is to them and to the to the patients. Oh yes, absolutely. It's so. It impacts the caregiver so very much. It's it's a lot to learn about the brain. It's a lot to understand about what's happening, all those changes that are going on. And it can be extremely stressful to try to work with someone at home that maybe doesn't sleep well at, and is up all hours of the night and, and changing how they're behaving and how they're thinking and, and, and moments where it's, you know, good one day and maybe not so good the next, or from moment to moment it's changing, and it, that's a lot of stress to roll with. Yeah, absolutely, and, and you're there to support these caregivers in this journey. Absolutely. Yeah. As I said, we're providing education, but we also do support groups okay. for our folks inside Holland Home and for the community as well. Wonderful. And, and let's talk about the holiday season, too, because that can be a whole nother, you know, something yeah. to deal with. I, you know, I know that, you know, my grandma came from Chicago and, and her and <laughs> we had two suffering from dementia. And but they, it was such a, a special experience because it was the last time I got to see my grandma before she passed and how important it is to make sure these people are included but also to be able to handle the, the stress of the situation. Yeah, it's, it's, holidays are stressful and for the caregiver, it's best to try to make a plan as much as you can. We all know it changes moment to moment, but if you can have kind of a backup plan for maybe when it doesn't quite go how you want, when things get a little bit overstimulating, trying to find a quiet place where we can get away for a few minutes and try to breathe, right? Yeah. And then when it gets a little, you know, overwhelming, maybe have a backup plan. So, you know, things aren't kind of getting a bit much, maybe we need to bow out. And even sometimes giving yourself some grace and, you know, if you're expected to be somewhere at three o'clock, Maybe you can't commit to being there at 3 o'clock, but maybe you can say, hmm, I could probably be there somewhere between 2 and 4. Perfect. Give yourself some leeway. Give yourself some grace. Recognize that everybody's changing and adapting in that moment and realize we're all doing the best we can. You, the person living with dementia 
and those in their community around them. Absolutely. I think that's great advice for all of us, no matter what we're doing over the holiday season. Yeah. So if people want more information um, about these support groups, about Holland Home and all of the things that they're doing, um, you can just head to that website, MeaningfulDementiaCare.org. There's a phone number on your screen as well, 616-235-5000. Lois, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.